Hello, welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason Newland and this is Relaxation Hypnosis for Stress, Anxiety and Panic Attacks. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. If you like what I do, please leave a review on my website. And if you'd like to support this free service, please go to paypal.me forward slash Jason Newland. Or the link is on the website under Gift Me. So, I have been inspired to do this recording by watching a documentary on BBC4. And it was about... Um, genetics and oh, I forget the name of it but basically the the genetic code and how they can manipulate it and how by changing the code changes the result so a For example, someone that may be born with uh, an illness, it's because that genetic code is somewhat faulty. And they can correct that code, therefore cure the illness. By, it's just, I mean, I I don't know, I'm not a doctor or scientist or anything, but I find it really interesting and I started to think about because they mentioned websites and the internet and stuff because he was trying to explain it for people like me uh, without any kind of scientific background to understand how something could be it could completely change with just a little bit of code different you know a little bit of a different code because it's I forget what it's called but basically the codes are the same and they're repeated over and over again but they're connected by things that are different and depending on what those is in that code decides whether or not it works whether the like an electrical current kind of thing. Again, I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know anything about electricity. My dad's an electrician, so I should know a little bit, but I know that it needs to be connected. I know that a light doesn't work if it's not plugged in to the electricity socket, the plug, or if it's not turned on. It's not going to work. It has to be connected. So that's that's a completely different conversation because that also can lead to changing an anxiety provoking memory or thought or image or um, something that may be coming up in the future when you think about it how you feel now can change depending on making these tiny little adjustments. I'll give you an example. Something I do know about is websites. And I used to build websites, not not as a living, but for a, as for fun. And I did it since 2000. I haven't really done it for a long time. I build websites, but not from code anymore. But I still know parts of the code that makes sense I can still go into the code source and I can see parts of where things are I know my way a little bit around it so I know that if I go into the source code if there's a page website page you can go into the the code if you make one tiny change depending on what change you make that entire page changes just by leaving a semicolon out by deleting that 
or by deleting, deleting something in a bracket. The whole page can change and maybe not even work. Uh, if you change the hyperlink, which is the, you know, the thing you click on within the website that takes you to another page, it's called a hyperlink. And if you change the code there, click on it, it doesn't take you anywhere. Or maybe if you change, you change the, the link to take you somewhere else, it takes you to a different place. Again, it's like you think of something, you click that picture, and instead of taking you to the emotions of feeling stressed and anxious, it takes you to the feelings that you would have laying in your garden on a beautiful summer's day, maybe with people that you love surrounded with you, and you're just enjoying the sun. So, you know, it can like, instantly transfer you somewhere else by making a tiny change. Cut and paste, cut and paste. That's the secret with building websites in the old days. Copy, cut, paste. Where you want it to be. So you think, in a sense, if our brains, bear in mind, Websites, uh, the internet, computers were all based on kind of how scientists believed the brain worked. They were trying to be, trying to create something that operated like the brain uh, in a, an almost an organized version of the brain because they didn't know really how the brain worked and we still kind of don't. We're learning, but we don't, you know, it's still so much to learn. So if you think of something, you've got an image in your mind uh, of something that troubles you something when you think about this image maybe it's something that just keeps coming up it might not be hugely serious and as always I will say when you practice with me maybe choose something that isn't hugely serious you know maybe pick, pick something that's annoying enough to want to change so don't pick something that you don't care about because it's kind of just pointless. But maybe pick something that bothers you but doesn't bother you to the extent of needing therapy for it. That's kind of what I'm aiming at. Because then, as I said in previous recordings, sometimes if you get rid of enough of those things that just bother you enough to just really annoy you but not at a high high level of anxiety but annoy you enough to cause some anxiety if you get rid of enough of those they're the legs under the table that big table holding like the really big stuff and eventually the legs go the weight of the table falls over and those big things fall on the floor and just crash and are just pretty much obliterated. Sometimes without even having to look at them or go near them or focus on them. So, you know, so that's, that's one way around it. That's one way into that. So, I'd like you to think of something right now and whatever it could be it could be something that happened yesterday or today something that's just it caused anxiety and you think about it you feel crappy basically you feel anxious stressed but not like hugely but enough to bother you so maybe we're looking from a 1 to 10 on a scale, 1 being nothing, 10 being the most ever, 
maybe we're looking at kind of like a five, a four, whatever's like okay with you to focus on without actually having uh, someone there to support you in person because of course I can't be there in person but I am here in person if that makes sense and you know what I was thinking See, I, I'm not really not really kind of spiritual or anything really but there does seem to be like an energy which connects us those of us that are listening to this recording me through talking and making the recording but then the I don't know six, seven, eight hundred people maybe that are listening to it today when it's done uh, and so it's kind of there's a connection and that number's growing all the time so it's kind of it's just interesting just to feel like okay we're connected in some way there's that energy that is being shared so when someone else listens and they feel more relaxed they feel calmer they find that the chatter in their mind has slowed down it almost feels like that energy is shared through I don't know through whatever through the internet through the air through but it's shared like towards other people I know it sounds very esoteric and spiritual but I don't really know what I mean by it it just there's a feeling just a feeling that I have that there's something shared by the people that listen to the recordings and it's it's just a, it's a positivity which can only be a good thing so as you think about that thing the whatever it was uh, it might be something that you need to do tomorrow that you don't want to do and or maybe you do want to do but you've got a sense of uh, stress or anxiety at a level that doesn't feel comfortable but it's not like horrific or anything but it's uncomfortable I'd like you just to focus on that picture a picture that represents that just a picture and that picture is going to be a web page a picture on a web page on a laptop or on your tablet or on your phone um, your computer you know whatever whatever your your Chromebook whatever it is that you use to look at the internet on maybe your television you can use the internet on television nowadays so whatever it is whatever screen that you would look at a web page in your mind imagine that picture on that screen that's the web page so now and I'm going to go through this actually on the computer to show you what you can do so you've got the page and at the top of the page you can click on the menu so maybe there's uh, three dots at the right hand top of the page whatever it is it's like it's just imagine there's a menu there you can click on the menu and it goes down and you can click on edit click on edit and under edit it says oh, where I for look where does it say So, okay, and it says edit code, so you can click on that, click on the edit code, and basically a big stream of code that makes absolutely no sense to you is on the screen, it doesn't have to make any sense at all. 
so you can see the code. So you can click back, just click on the edit code again, and it clicks back to the picture. You can see the picture again and click back to edit code. So it's literally click on the picture, it takes you to the edit code, and then click back, click on the edit code, and it takes you back to the picture. It's as simple as that. Or just imagine it changing. It's your mind, it's up to you. So go backwards and forwards a couple of times. So you've got the picture, you've got the emotions connected to the picture, which is a whatever number it's at, maybe four, five, maybe higher, maybe lower. Maybe it's moving around a little bit, a little bit wobbly at the moment. Maybe it's changed a lot. However, just focus on that and go back and forward just a little bit between the picture and the code. And the code is just a bunch of numbers, letters, uh, some writing here and there, uh, some semicolons, brackets. It's just a bunch of gobbledygook, really. Um, you don't need to know what it, what it says because it doesn't really say anything important. It's just the picture. And as you focus on that picture, imagine a ferret running around, making as much noise as he can because I'm on making a recording. And what we're going to do, go to the code. And I want you to highlight a bit of the code. It doesn't matter what part, just highlight a bit of the code from maybe, maybe four lines. And delete. Delete those four lines and then click on the page again and go back to the picture and notice the picture's changed. It can't be the same anymore because you've changed the code. The picture's changed. Maybe it's changed slightly. Maybe it's a different color. Maybe it's upside down now. Maybe it's sideways. Maybe only half of the page shows. Maybe it's smaller. Maybe it's larger, so it's a bit more, it's distorted. Maybe it's now got a, a weird tune playing. Like the old Lauren Hardy. <laughs> Not a great um, impression, but you know, maybe there's something going on with the page which wasn't there before just a bit random. Maybe there's a little fly run, like flying around on the screen. Like how did that get inside the screen? I mean, that, that genuinely is a bug, isn't it? <laughs> You've got a bug in your computer. Notice how you feel. Notice what level that is between one and 10. Notice how it's changed. As you look at that picture, what emotional response do you get now? So now what you do is click on the picture again, which takes you to the code. This time, I want you to go and delete another you know, maybe 10 lines and then click on it which takes you back to the picture and look how the picture's changed it may not even be a picture anymore it may be nothing it might be a blank screen because the website page does not work anymore I mean, that's, that's a very likely scenario, even by making the slightest change. 
you could just blank out the whole website the whole page would be gone until you put stuff back to how it was so as you look at the page now after those you know the second changes you made how do you feel on that scale of 1 to 10 where are you with that thing that you were that used to cause a response before you did this exercise. So I'm going to assume that it's weakened. It's maybe it's not weakened completely, maybe it's not gone down all the way to one. What we're going to do now is go back onto the code. And just, I want you to go to the top of the screen, write, just type it, it's in your mind, write down the, the words poo, poo. So P O O P O O, with a gap. So I want you to do is to copy that and then paste it over and over again about 20 20 times so you've got the poo poo 20 times written at the top of the page now i want you to copy that 20 poo poos highlight the rest of the code on the page and replace it with those poo poos so there's no more code, but just the poo-poos. And then click on the page and see the picture that isn't there anymore. And what do you see? What's there? And more importantly, what level are you from one to 10 now, or from 10 to one? Or 10 to 0 really to be fair but what, what are you on that scale now and are you surprised at how easy that was bit of fun as well so we'll do it again we'll play around with this think of something so we can test this actually before we test this come out of that just you know maybe you could shake yourself off shake yourself off you know shake your hands just you know stop thinking about the the um, website picture or anything like that and now think about that thing that the picture represented and notice how you feel differently notice how it doesn't bother you anymore like it changes how it changes it's almost like we were saying about with the electricity that connection's broken you can have the most expensive electrical equipment in the whole wide world but if it's not connected to electricity it's not going to work you could build a you know a hundred billion dollar train. Why would you do that? But you could, or computer system. But it's not going to work. You know, it's not going to work on batteries, is it? It's going to need electricity. I don't think a little wind farm outside is going to be able to keep it going. So, now we're going to try it again. We're going to do it again. This time I want you to think of... We're going to do it quickly. I want you to think of something that you're anxious about doing. Be, maybe it's something that you're anxious about and you just don't do it. Because of the anxiety has stopping you. You're allowing uh, the feelings you have to stop you from doing that thing. So... I want you to think of, think of one of those things. 
and see an image on that screen again like we did before see the image that represents that it might be a picture of that thing that's up to you and all you need to do just as before just click on the screen on the picture takes you to the code and what you could do something now all I want you to do is delete a tiny part of the code just a tiny part and then click back to the picture and see how it changes see how you feel changes I didn't get you to focus on what level it was before we changed the picture but you know what it was so how is it now how has it changed now how do you feel differently now just by changing that tiny little bit of code which means that picture can never be the same. And that picture represents that feeling, which means the feeling can never be the same. So now go back, click on the picture, go back to the code, and you can highlight the whole of the code and just put in, paste that poo poo 20 times. Just click on that and the whole lot just be replaced by the poo poo and click back on that and go back to the picture that isn't really there anymore and that is how that level that scale of feelings changed so quickly So now I want you to think about another thing. Something from the past that you don't think about generally because it's unpleasant, uh, which is fair enough. Why well, think about unpleasant things? It's not, not the most enjoyable thing in the world, is it? Just think about something. I'm just going to ask you to do it now. Um, nothing huge, as I said before, but something that it's kind of like a bit of a, it's like a turd in the toilet. You'd like to flush it away and it's been hanging around a bit, a bit too long, you know, it's, and I think some thoughts and some emotions in the past can be a bit like that. You know, it just hasn't flushed away and you don't, you want to, you're hoping it's going to flush, you know, without you having to kind of manually get involved which is a bit gross it's like okay I hope it's just going to flush um, but then you go there you go to do a wee and it's looking up at you so yeah alright Jason you alright yeah you alright we you doing watching telly like will you go away will you flush already so <laughs> think of something from the past have that picture that represents that memory that is um, troubling from a stressful anxiety perspective and see that picture on that screen notice the level that you are on the discomfort level you know anxiety stress level zero to ten notice what it is we're not going to hang around we're going to go straight click on the picture delete that code paste in the poo poo straight away no messing around click on it and see the screen that was there now changed or disappeared and notice how you feel now think of something else something you're going to do in the future something maybe tomorrow something you're really not looking forward to and it's okay not to look forward to things. It's okay not to want to do things. It's a choice. I and mean, sometimes your life is better by doing something that you don't want to do because it may improve your life or it might actually end up being good or, you know, we don't always do things we want to do, do we? But it's a choice. But there might be something coming up Maybe a wedding that you kind of feel you have to attend. 
even though you, the, the anxiety is there when you think about it. It was there before. So think about that thing now, something that's going to be coming up soon, something you've been anxious and worried about. Think about it. Stick that image on the screen, the image that represents that emotion. Notice what it is, what level it is from 1 to 10. Click on the screen, go to the code. And what we're going to do this time is delete the code and we're going to type in the words, this is no longer an issue. That's it. Type in that. You can see it on the screen. Click on the screen again and go back to the picture. And notice what's on the screen now. And notice what level you're at. Zero to ten, what is it? Notice how it's changed. So I invite you, excuse me, I'm doing burps now, I'm full of gas. I invite you to ignore that I just did a burp. I invite you to play around with this, experiment with it. And the ball is already rolling in a sense of it's already started. And when you do something a few times, especially something that helps you, and sometimes it's your unconscious mind says, wow, that's a good idea, because you've educated your mind, you've educated your unconscious mind, and shown your unconscious mind what you would like more of. So you've, in this recording, in this period of time, you've explained and shown your unconscious mind that you'd actually like those things that you have previously felt anxious about, things that you have been anxious about in the future. You'd like those pictures to change. And you've given that suggestion You've actually almost given that command to your unconscious mind and you've done that yourself because your unconscious mind listens to you all the time. So that's why it's important to be aware of what we're thinking about because your unconscious mind assumes that that's what you want more of which is why it's so important to get in touch with positive thinking. Not because it's uh, not to be false or to be Mr. Cheerful all the time or to go against what's really happening, but because your mind, your unconscious mind, listens and takes notice of what you're thinking about and tries to give you more of it because it assumes and it wants to please you and keep you safe and keep you happy. And it thinks that that's what you want. And once it realizes that actually what you really want is to feel relaxed. What you really want is to feel calm what you really want is to be happy. What you really want is to be able to choose what you do. You want to be able to choose to do those things that maybe in the past used to be uncomfortable, but you're choosing to do them And you don't need to have those feelings that you used to have before because it's no longer useful. Well, that never was useful, really, but your unconscious mind thought that that's how you wanted to feel. Because 
we train our unconscious mind by what we consciously think about. So now your unconscious mind is absorbing these new messages that actually when you think about those things in the future that maybe used to be problematic you now feel confident feel relaxed feel loose it changes everything changes it's quite a nice uh, quite a nice place to be really and you start to notice that the way you think changes like tomorrow you might be walking around just doing what you normally do and you start to notice that you feel good you feel relaxed you feel and relaxation can be really pleasurable it's it's not just about um, not feeling stressed it can actually be pleasurable you can feel really nice inside like your muscles can feel nice it's a pleasure within your core and in your mind and it changes and you might notice that notice that things are changing and you're starting to feel more positive towards the future towards yourself so on that note I'm going to go I'm going to leave you and I shall speak to you very soon possibly tomorrow uh, thank you for listening and remember to be kind to yourself because you deserve to be happy. Lots of love. Bye.